Good morning, YouTube. I just did some decorating. I'm very proud. I needed it. <laughs> okay, I literally like woke up 45 minutes ago and came upstairs and doing my morning routine, but then I was like, I need Christmas decorations and I can't decorate until my whole family's here. Well, I could, but, but I don't want to. <laughs> Good morning everybody and welcome back to Vlogmas episode day three. So my morning routine consists of waking up and washing my face, brushing my teeth, coming upstairs and making a hot ginger water. So I have fresh ginger root in this little tea thing. And then I have some chia water right here. It's warm just to kickstart my digestion. Those are a couple things that I like to do. Now I'm going to be setting my intentions for the day and seeing what I'm grateful for. My friend Emily Hayden actually inspired me to start doing this. So I just have a notepad right beside my little nightstand. And what I do is I just reflect. So I think about three to five intentions that I want to set for the day. What do I want to accomplish? How do I want to feel? And then what I'm grateful for, at least three to five things too. I think it's a really beautiful way to start the day and I strongly encourage you guys to try that too. It's definitely gonna be a ritual for me and I'm gonna try to get my clients to do it as well. It's so nice to just start your day with gratitude and reflect. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to read a chapter in my book and then we'll get the day started. friends. Sorry, I have the sun right here, so we're just going to talk like this. Okay, so I was supposed to come to this Veg Fest event that is going on at a community center in Calgary today with my friend Paige, and unfortunately, she's super sick. She, like, rarely ever gets sick, so she was up all night and texted me at, like, 6 a.m. to cancel, and I was like, that's fine, even though we had it planned for like a month. Um, <laughs> she rarely ever gets sick, but I didn't want to not go because I want to check it out. So I'm here by myself. Is that weird? I don't really care. I'm one of those people that are like, if I want to do something, I'm just going to do something. I don't need somebody to do it with me. So I didn't even feel the need to message any of my other friends. It was kind of short notice anyways. So I'm going to go in there. You guys are going to come with me. I have friends. They're just not here. They're sitting behind the screen. <laughs> so let's go see what it's all about. We're going to be trying some sorbeto, did you say? Sorbeto. Sorbeto, yeah. Um, this is the blueberry basil. Oh, that's so good. That's amazing. And I have to try chocolate. So that was nice. Sorry, this light. Oh, my butt is so sore from yesterday's workout. <laughs> uh, that was nice. Vegans are so nice. No, but really, everyone in there was really nice. And I just went around and I tried those bites that I showed you guys. And I was literally in and out within like 10, 15 minutes. So just a quick walk around. It was quite small. But I tried some balls and met some nice people. And now we're going to go to the gym. <laughs> Dinner is served. This is an inspired BB Bop bowl. The only thing that's missing is an egg and maybe some rice, but this is my version. I decided to opt for some avocado for some fat. So we have corn, the Gardein beefless ground, some red peppers cooked in coconut oil, zucchinis pan fried on a bed of spinach. I had to. You know I had to. <laughs> Dinner was delicious, there was tons of flavor, highly recommend that dish. Now I'm going to be getting some work done before the girls get here in about an hour. So that gives me a little bit of time. 
we are going to be having a girls' night. I haven't seen them for about two months. They're two of my best friends, and I haven't seen them since before I went to L.A., so it's going to be really nice to catch up and just, like, unwind and talk and laugh. And one of my friend's dogs died, so she's been really sad, so I just want to make her smile tonight. So that's what we're going to do. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of it and we're also going to be making a festive skinny cocktail. I decided I'm really excited. It should taste delicious. All the girls are coordinating and bringing something that I need to make it. So it's gonna be a team effort. Hope that you guys enjoy it. I just wanted to show you this cute little festive thing behind me. Okay. I don't know why I'm so proud of it, but it's a little surprise when they walk in. Just, just something small. This is our favorite wine. It's actually from the Okanagan Valley, so it's Canadian, and it's so, so good. And it's only $20 as well, so it won't break the bank. Highly recommend. And then our wine glasses. Our wine glasses. You guys, if you have a Pier 1 Imports around you, these are on sale right now. And I mean, actually, all of the Christmas things are on sale right now. Christmas didn't even happen yet, but I'm all about it. So the girls are going to choose which glass they want, and I really don't know which one I want them to leave to be mine because I love them all. So I have some chocolate waiting for them, popcorn of course, and yeah, it's going to be fun. So I will catch you guys in a bit when we make the skinny cocktail. Yay, we're finally all back together. Hug me. <laughs> I'm about to make our skinny cocktail, so let's just get right to it. Okay, so I'm going, this is uh, apparently 50% Smirnoff, so I'm just going to be using like two and a half ounces. Ain't nobody trying to get messy around here. Then we have the almond milk eggnog, and then I have a little bit of just the unsweetened vanilla because, I don't know, I might use both. We have nutmeg and then some cinnamon sticks. Two and a half ounces of the vodka. Maybe I'll just do one cup of the almond nog. I don't think I necessarily need You live need. your life, girl. I'm gonna live it the way that I want it to because we have small Cristal martini glasses here, so might not need the double liquid. So we're gonna put that in there. Cinnamon. Lots of cinnamon. Hey Randy, I like your uh, martini shaker. So two packages of stevia, ground nutmeg. Here. Oh my god, I'm so sorry guys. She has an alter ego when she wears this thing. Okay. <laughs> Carry on. Shake it, shake it, shake, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture. Cheers guys. This is real. What if it's awful? Oh, that's pretty good. Have... Really? Yep. Yeah, that's you really like good. it? Thank yeah. you. And that wraps up today's video. <laughs> it's already the next morning, and here's my outro, guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I will catch you in the next one.